On this episode of the Papa Sam Radio Show. We get to look back at the year 2017. The crew over here at the Papa Sam Radio Show experienced a ton of ups and downs in 2017. From Papa Sam losing to Elizabeth for the second year in a row. Congratulations, baby. You done good. Oh, it's just more women than it was me and that's all. To him showcasing he's still the baddest hunter on the planet. At last, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> Squirrel at last. Squirrel at last. Baby, yeah. Usually, we showcase all these moments in a compilation video, but on this occasion, we're making a top 10 moments of the year. So sit back, grab a beer or some popcorn, and enjoy this episode of the Pop Sam Radio Show. Grandpa and I are, are cooking chicken livers in the cold November night. Coming in at the number 10 spot for the best moment of 2017, we got the Sam Shuffle. After cooking some chicken livers, Papa Sam busted some moves and showcased his dancing abilities. Personally, I don't like chicken livers, but I know Papa Sam loves them. <laughs> the Sam Shuffle. <laughs> Papa Sam a Snapchat. To lighten up the mood, Papa Sam has a Snapchat account. So Papa, we're gonna try it out these new filters for Christmas. Coming in at the number nine spot, we got Papa Sam trying some Snapchat filters and rage quitting on the third filter. Things were looking well for Papa Sam and Snapchat. After running out of topics, my 15 year old self had to come up with something. So I popped on some Snapchat filters and let's just say technology and Papa Sam don't mix well at all. Oh my, right, look at this one. <laughs> all right, Father, we ain't got to say the camera now. I told you I was talking about. Father, we ain't got to say the camera now. Number eight, Papa Sam's Delco Rent. It's been a long day so far. I don't like to ride. Coming in at the number 8 spot, we got Papa Sam going on a tirade while driving home from Delco, North Carolina. The day looked pretty good. So Papa Sam and I went to Delco, North Carolina and bred an elite class dog. Well, Papa, we saw a movie today. It's called Deep Thrust. <laughs> <laughs> After a long day, we went to McDonald's and tried their Grand Mac that they sold at the time and did a radio show on the way home. Now that I know Pop so well, I decided for him to talk about his favorite topic, taxes. Well, y'all know I'm just joking, right? Papa Sam hates taxes and went on a full road rage while orchestrating a rant about a specific boat tax he received in the mail earlier that year. No, no, they won't, they won't whip it up now. Hang out there. They can't find a way in the bathroom to pee. They're so old. <laughs> and uh, they just as sorry as I can't think of their names right now. Stinny Hoya and all them maggots. And uh, they won't, don't want to do nothing for the country. When they had the uh, Senate and everything, when their judges come up, the Republicans voted, got them in there. And now they want to be their plum pee, sorry SOBs. Uh, <laughs> Let me tell you no. Taxes. Uh, oh, we got boat tax this past Tuesday. Yeah. I, I had two boats. I had to get boat tags for them. And they run out. And I, I wanted no hurry to get them because it was too cold to fish. It wasn't fishing season. I go up there and get them. He tells me that they added on our tax for late fee. But let me tell you something. I like to take that late fee and whoever started it and put it on the end of my foot and stick it in his record. Uh, so they get you every way to throw it. Number seven, Papa Sam's first squirrel hunt. How many times did you shoot? Same time. <laughs> and now, seven hours, seven hours, let's see, zero. Coming in at number seven, we have Papa Sam's first squirrel hunt of the year. Papa Sam released his Hound of Justice Boogerman to track the first squirrel of 2017. 
Now, is Papa Sam successful in this hunt? To answer your question, let's showcase this so-called extraordinary highlight. You win! You got him! He's dead! Well, some things don't go your way. All that matters is when you get up and try again. The saying rings true. A winner is just a loser who never gives up. Number six, Papa Sam smoke pork shoulder. What does it look like? It looks like business to me. What do you think about that, buddy? At number six, we got Papa Sam smoke pork shoulder. In the year 2017, Papa Sam and I had a ton of cooking episodes. He cooked cornbread. See what we got you. Looks pretty good, though. Steaks and a cast iron brisket. And you can see the little caramelized places on it. I put it back in the oven and, and basted it. However, I think that the smoked pork shoulder took the cake for me. Listen to this dialogue from Papa Sam himself. You did this time. That's bone six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, we made it halfway on this list. With all this being said, I think it's time for a little break. So enjoy this message from one of our sponsors. We're taking a quick break on the Papa Sam radio show, but we'll be right back after this quick message. Are you looking for a podcast that's full of life and energy? A podcast that's got a great sense of humor. Rehab. 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 We're failing rehab. And lastly, are you looking for a podcast that holds nothing back? You lose brain cells listening to this. No joke, man. Hey, if you want. Well, then, I got the perfect podcast for you The Bum Podcast. All right, well, that, this was The Bum Podcast with <laughs> with Arthur Christian and, it's, and myself, Riz Taylor. So. The Bum Podcast has got a plethora of interesting stories, life events, and you're going to have a great time listening to us. Without further ado, I am Arthur Pridgen, and I am joining fellow co-host Ray S. Tellez. The Papa Sam Radio Show is coming back at you live right now. Special thanks to the Bum Podcast for that message. Now it's time to return for the top 10 moments of 2017. Coming in at number 5, we got Papa Sam's reaction after the July 4th cook-off. Where you were so robbed, where you made the best hot dogs in the world, and you were robbed by Elizabeth. I was defeated by her. After he got disqualified from the July 4th cook-off, he has some bold opinions about the results. Now. Let's just face it, Papa Sam was in a sour mood when he got disqualified. Just look at that face right there. That's what we call meme-worthy. Number four, Papa Sam's failed trash talk. You started this off, putting me against her. You know she ain't no, she ain't no kind of cook when it comes to what I know. Coming in at the number four spot on the best moments of 2017, we got Papa Sam's failed trash talk. You know what they say, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. This applies in life, especially when you're going to compete at the most significant event that we host, the July 4th cook-off. Well, Papa Sam talked his shit for two days straight, the Sunday before the cook-off and the day before the cook-off. All right. I'm going to beat him. <laughs> how, how can you get more Americans than hot dogs? I made the best chili I ever made in my life. I made that coleslaw. I grated it. <laughs> yeah. That shit talking would light a fire in my sister to obliterate Hip Hop Sam for the second year in a row. Jamie, he read, they read the election against him. You were the only one that voted for him. I won two times in a row. What's up, so Jamie? Sharon's hunting rage. There you go. He's okay. Oh. 
Yeah. Go ahead, got the first shot. This clip may be short. This clip may be chaotic and may contain some terrible camera angles from me. However, forgettable is not one word I would use to describe this moment. After Lowell Sharon killed the first squirrel of the 2017 hunting season, the crew over here at the PSRS was ecstatic. However, the celebration would not last forever. Lowell went on a full outrage for some reason, and here's that memorable clip. Number two, Lowell Sharon moons the camera. All right, you guys, before I showcase this memorable moment, when Lowell flashed the camera, he stuck his finger through the zipper of his pants. As the kid behind the camera, my brain didn't process this moment that fast. All I knew at that time was there was something swinging below Lowell's waistline, and I merely thought that his little chorizo was swinging at the camera. For the sake of this video, you can check it out yourself. Man, that. You already made it this far in the video. Here's this clip. But things are picked up. Things are picked up. Maybe we need a new show called Lowell Talks with Lowell Sharon. Lowell Talks. With Lowell Sharon. With Lowell Sharon. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, right. I bet go up there and have them um, talk with him and, and video it. <laughs> 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 That's a good thing. <laughs> Video Daniel. Well, <laughs> you gotta take that off. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're almost at the top of Papa Sam's best moments of 2017. But before we get there, let's check out some honorable mentions. That fish is better at work for you. It's done wonders for me. It's done wonders for Pop. That's it for the Papa Sam Fire. Yeah, look at that. All the stress you want. That's what I like to see. <laughs> ball is running right now. Okay, ball number one of the hot sauce author bought me. It's, uh, it says, it's right from the mountains and it's got a picture of Hillary Clinton on it and Barack Obama, no, Hillary and uh, Donald Trump. It says Trump this hot sauce. The only thing about it, it's got to hear eating somebody, she's crying. But I, I've already ate over half of it. It didn't make me cry. Get no money, they would clean up that stuff. But then, then, then people at college, they don't want to say nothing because them rich fit people were sending them punks to college. Uh, if I had a kid up there in college and he was involved in breaking one of the lights out, I'd go up there and break his one of the lights out and bring him to the house. That's really he wouldn't want to ever see another one of the lights broken. Before we unveil number one, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back after this quick message. We're taking a quick break on the Papa Sam radio show, but we'll be right back after this quick message. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You seem like the kind of person who loves sports. I know, I know. I love football, basketball, and fishing too. Wouldn't you love to have a show that encompasses all those things together? Well then, I got the perfect show for you. The Uncle Chris Sports Show. Four words for you, baby. The champ is here. Six and O. Oh. You want some, come get some. The Uncle Chris Sports Show is a program that delivers hot takes on the latest sports news, how-to videos. You want to get a lot of bites? Say you're fishing behind everybody, can't seem to get a bite. Would you believe that I can fish behind anybody in any boat? I don't get there, even back in later. And just pure fishing entertainment. Good, good. How many pounds do you think he is? Oh, where am I, son? If you haven't done it already, I recommend you to hit that subscribe button and share this movement with the rest of your friends. Papa Sam Radio Show is coming back at you live right now. Special thanks to the Uncle Chris Sports Show for that message. Like I said in that commercial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Uncle Chris Sports Show. And this is the moment we've all been waiting for, folks. The number one moment from 2017. Number one, Papa Sam destroys tablets. Don't need that. Oh my God! Oh my God. 
Without a shadow of a doubt, the number one moment on our list is none other than Papa Sam's unforgettable tablet smashing scene. It's an obvious choice, given the sheer power and impact of the moment. Although the scene was scripted, Papa Sam's acting was nothing short of exceptional. His performance truly stole the show. And granted, he deserves an Oscar for that. Get out of here, I don't know nothing. That's mine, that's yours. Oh my. Another $500. I don't give it $10. $10. Hey, I'm going to I can't. $500 Alright you guys, that was it for this top 10 moments on the Papa Sam Radio Show. Please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the Papa Sam Radio Show. My name is Arthur Prison and we'll see you guys on the next video.